Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video, guys. If you are level 15 or below, make sure to use the promo code the Starco to get a free starter pack. To do so, it is pretty simple. You go in the settings, use promo code, and you enter the code the Starco, S-T-A-R-K-O, you press OK, and you will, will receive a free starter pack. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy the goodies. So, guys, today, uh, we're going to be jumping in a legendary event. We're going to be clearing the uh, Renara Legendary. Legendary event, guys. Finally, our Panda team is ready. If you want to see what Panda team is going to be using, guys, we are going to be using the basic team, pretty much. So if we go here, we sort that by Panda, and here we go. So what we're going to have is Kinley lead with Rin, Shaolin, Master Drill, and Fao. You can see the power is not that high, especially on Master Drill and Fao. Uh, it's pretty much just getting Rin, Kinley up, Shall land second skills to level six. I will be my guess, and the rest does not really matter, as you're gonna see in the damage. Uh, the build we have on these, uh, we have Rin here, uh, gear element here, decent runes, well, pretty good runes. Then we have Kinley, uh, it's gear element plus one with decent runes. We have Shell land stats, gear element, uh, runes are not done. You can see two runes are still level eight. I could get more speed on this dude. Uh, we have Master Drill, that is gear uh, 10 plus 5, which average room, not actually below average rooms, to be honest. And then we have Fell. Fell is gear 9 plus 1, uh, with uh, pretty good runes, though. So that's the build we have, guys. They are all to uh, ability level 6, as you can see. And we have one ability level 7 on a Rin for our uh, biggest damaging skills and that's pretty much it these days getting characters to level t6 is actually pretty easy so that'll be my recommended uh team guys gear 11 on both uh rin and kinley gear a nine on the other three and then uh at least i have the d turn meter ability the second skills on shell lens to uh level six that's pretty much all that matters ability level six on rin kinley ability five Definitely worth on uh, Fao and on uh, Drill, to be honest. So, next guy's gonna be jumping into the event here. Uh, where is this event? Right here, guys. We're gonna jump in there. We're gonna get stage seven done. Should be pretty easy, guys. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not lying to you guys. And you can see here the team power, 106,000. Really not uh, the strongest teams we can actually have here. Uh, really basic team, guys. Really, really basic team. Don't need a healer for them. That'll be too long to actually get them. Uh, here we get dialogues. Apparently, if you want to watch dialogues, guys, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of dialogue explaining what's going on and why we have to uh, help um, Renara to pretty much, or free Renara, whatever. So here we start with the third skill to charge up uh, to get out the boss for, for uh, Rin. Go with a second skill here for the turn meter. We get a taunt right off the bat. We get some cheat death. Uh, we get some dodge. And that's pretty much it at this point. This show you hard. Here we go. As you can see, all you need is Rin, guys. Kill a few targets. Kill a few more targets here. Another one. And all we're going to do is try to finish this dude. But he's going to do a shell. So that's going to make things a little bit slower. But I guess that's going to be fine anyway. I mean, technically, if you can avoid the shell to pop, that's great. But most people won't be able to avoid that. So you're just going to have to deal through it, pretty much. It's just going to take a little while to uh, get through the damage here. Technically, I'll have to wait for two turns for that shell to get removed, which definitely will not be ideal here. So we're just going to do as much damage as we can. And then when we get to the point that the shell is gone, if it's ever gone, we're just going to one-shot this dude pretty much. You can see here the talent is coming. The shell is still there. At least he has buff immunity, so we cannot actually apply slow on him, which is actually an advantage because that just makes things work uh, worse if you do that. Still going to try to do as much damage as possible here, which is not a lot of damage. So when he gets his next turn, uh, one hit, and he's going to be dead pretty much. If we reach down, might actually kill him first. Yeah, we kill him with the shell on. So uh, that was pretty 
Okay, perfect. So yes, yeah, so we were saving uh, Renara here. You can see, thanks for saving me and helping me. Now my gift is at your service. And my eyes never die. Well, they die because you rest them, girl. Okay, we can skip that, guys. Uh, you can watch the um, the dialogues when you clear it. I already watched it in the past, and you can see here, guys. Uh, we got our 330 arrow stones, so we got all the um, the arrow stones to get her to seven stars. Now, all our pride already, guys. By the way, for people wondering, uh, not there, here. So if we go in pride here. All the prides are ready to be uh, level up to seven stars. We just need to wait to actually get all the gold we need. I actually not a lie. We're still working on this one. So on this one is done. We're gonna have everything we need uh, to actually unlock um, what is name Both, because that's the next step, guys. Both is the third legendary event we are going for, which is gonna be the next one right now. And what we're building is pretty much hero lead with Keggy. Renara, Boreas, and Salvador. It's going to be a very strong early game uh, BG team, and it's going to be the, the, the basic teams you actually need to unlock buff, pretty much. So we're going to be working on that uh, probably uh, along the next month or so, uh, because, uh, I mean, we're almost done working on the Panda. Yeah, the Panda. Uh, see here, need one more gear to get this guy to gear 11. And then... A little bit more gear on her to get her to level 11 and after that we're going to be done with the panda and the switch is going to go towards the pride we're going to try to get those prizes well we're going to try to save a lot of gold before we do pride because i want to get them bg ready as soon as i unlock them and then we're going to go for it guys so progression on this count is going pretty well guys uh and uh we're just about to start building our third the bg team that's going to be awesome Anyway, guys, that was pretty much it for today's video. Just wanted to uh, clear that legendary event for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment, feedback, let me know in the comment section. Also, guys, make sure you do not miss the next video because that will be the monthly giveaway announcement. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Really important. Also, don't forget to drop a like. It really helps the channel out, guys. So, guys, thank you for watching. Y'all keep enjoying playing Dragon Champion. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.